Hello and welcome to MrRelationshipMan.com, Results with Ronnie podcast series. I am your host, Ronnie Walker, master coach of exceptional dating, relationships, and sex. And we're going to talk about a subject that seems to be recurring ever so often throughout the years. And being in this space 30 years, I've heard it quite a few times. And I don't think it's a subject that's ever going to end. So I just wanted to address it because this is something that I've been asked over the time and my thoughts. And, you know, my thoughts, of course, may not relate to your mindset. But what I am going to do is because this really has been geared towards a men's space, I do accept the fact that there are many women who tune in and listen to them because they really want to hear the thoughts of men. And I think that's a good thing. This whole mindset of not listening to men when it comes to attracting a man to me is, well, okay, I'm just not in that alignment. I do know that there are spaces as a man I'm not going to speak on, and I'm going to seek the counsel of women because I do believe women play a, you know, an incremental part in the lives of men in any in, in myriad form of fashion. But because it's a men's space and I want to make sure that I address the women that tune in, we welcome you. We really do. And we hope that the things that I share and the things that men share with me can be received in the space of love that it is sent out to. Now, of course, Feel free to reach out to me at ronnieandyashika at gmail.com if you have some thoughts or you can also put some comments in this podcast as well. So, and I love the fact that even when you don't agree, you do so with respect and civility. So we're going to talk about dating younger. And I am because I know that there are women who are tuning into this and women, especially who reach out to me and says, Ron, I'm going to tune in because I'd really love to hear what you thought. And maybe you can share the thoughts of other men that you speak to. I speak to a number of, of different platforms. This podcast and the other platforms that I speak on are heard around the world. So again, it's interesting to hear what someone may think in Belgium, someone may think in parts of Africa, someone may think in England, Ireland, they're all there. And because social media in and of itself has made the world smaller, I think it's interesting to take that. But for now, I'm really going to focus on the USA, you know, in the mindset of women and the mindset of men, because a lot has changed. And I've spoken of this in terms of dating has evolved. And it also appears, as usual, that the people who need to hear it the most are those who really don't want to hear anything but if there's one thing that i've learned in my personal growth as a man and more specifically as a black man is that i never want to get to a point in my life where i think i know it all it's really important to know that there's always something you you can learn and here's the funny thing about this and i've said this before the places and the people that i thought i would learn it from i didn't i i found this out and some of the the incredible gems of knowledge that I've gotten were from people and places that were not places and people that I expected. But I received it nonetheless, and I didn't let the fact that it wasn't as the way I intended to hear it, I did hear it. And so I take that, I see how I can apply it to my life to grow. And if it's something I feel that others can benefit, then I'm going to share that. That's that's what I think knowledge and wisdom is all about. So when we talk about dating younger, let me just say that I'm speaking to the men and women who are intentional. And you also hear me talk, say this word quite often, intentional. And intentional in this space, the men that I speak to, they're intentional about marriage. They're intentional about creating a lifelong experience and journey with a woman. And the women that I speak to are looking to create the same with a man. And while there is some form of disconnect between men and women, but in this space, particularly black men and black women, what I'd like to do is provide some form of a a different way to look at things, you know, and there are times I may go deeper than others. But just with an open ear and open heart, take a listen to what I'm sharing with you. And just maybe it can help you in your journey and meeting that significant other in the future. 
So intentional is about those who are looking to create a lifelong bond with that person. They are tired of living the single life as though it is, there is some fun and freedom in that, but I do believe, and matter of fact, I, I know that there's fun and freedom and autonomy in a relationship. I believe we are created for late relationships. I don't believe in this whole, you know, being single to you, you meet your maker, whoever that may be for you. I believe there's a space that we create within our life to welcome someone else. And this way, you know, again, you know, you can experience many things in life, but to experience them with someone adds that much more to it. I've spoken to far too many people who will agree with me as well. So if this is something, or if you're now in back in the dating market, maybe from a divorce, um, a death of a significant other, or a breakup, mutual, or it was something that was not as mutual that if you're in this many of you now are and have been considering dating someone younger younger could be as quick as a day younger a year younger a week younger to 5 10 15 and sometimes 20 years younger but when we speak about it with men Somehow today, and although this is something that's been going on for years, men have been dating younger women for years. Make no mistake about it. And there are reasons for that. One of which is to co go on with their lineage, their legacy. And so these men, be their 40s, 50s, sometimes 60s, are looking for someone. And for whatever the reason may be that they didn't have or take advantage of the time when they were younger to do this. They're now looking for someone to do this. Other reasons now, of course, maybe in their space of dating, they haven't met a woman more comparable to their age, that it goes along with their life's journey as well. That does happen. And if you listen to enough women and enough men, you'll find sometimes these people tend to run into each other and it just makes for a disaster of a relationship. So they are going for someone they feel is more, how should I say it? I don't want to put the compliant I and mean, we use the word submissive or someone who's really willing to go along with his plan and his journey. And, and in many cases, truth be told, it's usually not with a woman that is of their contemporary age. So they look for someone younger. And of course, we have the reasons where they feel that these women bring out something in them, the this, this second life of theirs. And you're not really go into this whole midlife crisis or whatever, because if that's the case for men, I can tell you, and you listen to enough older women in their mid to late 40s and older, they go through the same thing, especially nowadays. But what happens now also is this double standard. And if you speak to enough women, they hate double standards. They really do hate it based on what you're talking about. Unless, of course, it benefits them. Then they have no problem with that. And we know that in life, if you've lived long enough and spoken to enough people, and if you've experienced a lot in your life, you know that there are double standards that you absolutely love, ladies. And that's not to say that there aren't those that men enjoy. But when we're talking about dating younger, what tends to happen is if it's an older woman, five, 10 years older and she's then the, the gentleman she's courting or the one that's courting her, she's a cougar and it's celebrated. You see it in the comments across all platforms. You hear the women, yes, girl, go for what you know, you know, leave these old beat up men alone. And you, you, they go on and on and on and on and on. And so, but however, when it comes to the men, the men are predators, they are insecure, they need a younger woman to stroke their ego. It's a totally different story. And that's a double standard I'm just not, I'm not going along with. Now, are there some men who want younger women for whatever the reasons um, in terms of not really looking to create a lasting journey with them. Yes, those men exist. But again, I'm talking about intentional men and I'm talking about intentional women. 
So ladies, let me start with you. Date how you wish to date, date who you want to date. But what I need you to do, because when I talk about coaching and consulting with potential clients, I first need you to know who you are as a woman. And with that me, by that I mean one thing, you have to be honest with yourself and the actions that you take and be responsible for the consequences of those actions. So if you're going to date a younger man, be honest as to why. Because here's the difference. If you're looking at an older woman with a younger man, then you have to look at the dynamic. Is he a man? Let's say, um, is he looking for marriage? Or is he just looking for a good time? And see, this is where, if you're an intentional woman, you have to be honest about where you are in your power and gift of discernment with this man. Okay, now there's some women who, based on the way they came out of the relationship, or maybe they just want a good time, then honor that and be honest about that. But now you also run the risk of a man falling for you more than you intended. And that's a whole nother conversation. But if you're looking to build something long term with this man, you really have to be honest about where you are and where he is. And are you both congruent in the direction you're going for your life journey and your love's journey? Because don't forget, you're not the one who's going to be asking and getting on the one knee. He is. And if he's not there, then you need to find that out as soon as possible, or you're going to find yourself taking up more years of your life with just some physical good time. And if you're lucky, you'll get a couple of trips out of the deal that sometimes you end up paying for with a man who has options of, yes, he may be able and good looking enough and has a stand enough to deal with an older woman. But knowing that should he be tired of that, he can go back to women of his age. And I'm talking about the 30 and 40 year old men. These young men out here are on something and they're in groups and they're talking. And if you're an older woman who has children, is that a man who wants to now become a stepfather? based on the relationship you have with the father of your children? Is that something that he wants to take on? Is that something he's emotionally, physically, and financially prepared to do? And you have to understand and accept that once you have that date with him, you're asking these questions. You need to find out what's, what's going on, where he's going. Or is he just telling you something you want to hear? And he's just in it for what he can get from you because you um, hopefully are established financially and you have the, the wherewithal financially um, um, physically to deal with this man sexually because let's say, you know listen I know women all like to think that they can go 1500 rounds and you know an hour a piece and we all know that that's not the case but again you have to be real honest with yourself and where you are and your womanhood, your femininity, financially, emotionally, to deal with a younger man because he may not be who you're looking for. He may just be in it for a good time and you need to find that out as quickly as possible because if he's not going to provide and protect, then you, you, again, you're just wasting more years of your life. However, for an older man who's established, who's got his stuff together emotionally, he takes care of himself physically, and he has a financial means, he's the man who's going to get on the knee and propose to the younger woman. And he can provide and protect. And he can decide whether that younger woman he wants, who already has children, and he may decide that he wants to be a, a, a stepfather to these children, or he may be looking for a younger woman who has no children. He wants to have children with. So there's a different dynamic. And, and unfortunately, you have too many women just trying to make it the same. And I'm telling you, it's not the same. He's asking for marriage. 
you are a woman who's not asking who's going to ask. So you're dependent upon him to ask you to go to an aisle. And whereas he is, if he's intentional, this is the goal. And so for him, in his mind, a younger woman is going to suit the bill. Now, we know if we look at it from a logical space where it would make more sense that you have a 50-year-old man or 40-year-old man who wants a 40 and maybe a you know, 39, 37-year-old woman, maybe go up a year or two. But he is someone who is looking for, you know, someone to create some great times with. You both have the same, you know, similarities in terms of type of music, the type of things that you both want to experience together. You're both looking at looking out for each other from a health perspective because you're not 20 anymore. And so this is a space where you really have to be honest about it. Men operate in a different space dating wise, especially when they're looking for a significant other than women, especially when you're talking about dating someone younger. So ladies, unless of course, you are in a space where you now figure it's a whole new world and you want to turn it upside down and you want to get on one knee and propose to this man, well, then it's not going to be the same as a man who's older dating a younger woman. Again, and we're talking about something that has happened um, throughout the centuries. Now, just on a personal note, you know, I remember in my 30s, you know, I was someone who was considered an old soul because of the way I carried myself and the way I dressed, the type of music I listened to, the places that I spent money in, in terms of going to jazz clubs, ballets, Broadway shows. I met a, 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 amazing women who were older, who were really confused as to whether, okay, I, I look younger, but yet he carries himself in such a mature, quote unquote, mature way. Talking about Billie Holiday or Otis Redding, things of this nature. So I attracted a lot of older women. So this is what that kind of, now mind you, and that's why we never want to just overgeneralize the younger women because there are younger women who are like that as well. I've met a lot of, of women in their late thirties, early forties who are, they're just in a space in their life financially, mentally, and physically where they we're not looking for a man age because in their surroundings and in, in, in their circle, the men that they were meeting about their age were really not about anything. You know, they had no ambition, no drive. Their money's all messed up. You know, there was really no direction. And funny enough, a number of those men end up looking for older women. And, you know, of course, we can talk about those who are looking for a mother figure, just like those young women looking for a father figure. Again, that's a completely different subject. But there is a difference in the way older men date younger women is different than the way older women date younger women. And I've coached my share of couples. Now, with that being said, that's not to say it will never work. There are many examples of older women having younger men. But see, that's all based on how much younger they are. And see, there is that what some would you know, consider a gray area. So you really have to be really fine tuning this. Because if we're talking 10 years or more, well, ladies, if you're in your 40s dating, you know, if you're 45 and you're dating a 35 year old well we'd like to think that all 35 year old men have their act together but if you've spoken to as many men as i have and in the groups that i have and we speak to these younger brothers a lot of them could use some work however some of them do have their act together but just because they do does it mean they want to settle down for happily ever after with an older woman now Younger women who may have their things together, they're looking for an older man because she adds value, he adds value to her life. He can protect, he can provide, 
he's more mature emotionally. He's good at conflict resolution. He's willing to talk. He brings a sense of security in her life that she's looking for, that she couldn't find with other men in their 30s and some in their 40s. And because social media is as it is, there are many channels of younger men just, they really champion the whole thing about dating older women, but not to marry them. Have fun. They like to have this image. And of course, and here's the other thing too, porn plays a huge part in this, believe it or not. How so? Well, you will have the scene set where you they like to paint all these older women as, you, you know, older, lonely, and they're desperate. And we know today a lot of older women are not desperate. They've, they've really come of age. You know, they, they've got their things together. They retired early. And they really want to experience another, another man on a deeper level. Maybe because of a bad divorce or breakup. They've done some work, some therapy, some coaching. They've done some healing. And so they're really looking for a man on that level or higher. And sometimes they do find that in a younger man. In many cases, they don't. So just like you can find one instance where you have an older woman, younger man, and they get along great, there are many times that's not. And so if anything, I'm just trying to communicate to the women that are looking down that path. Don't just go off of what, you know, the greater community will tell you. Because there are a lot of mature, secure, older men. However, the challenge with a lot of these women too, some of these men are already married. And so, yes, the dating pool itself may take more work, but they're out there. But if you so choose to go and look younger, be real clear how young you want to go and where he is in his life. Because don't forget, you're older now. You're in your mid forties and older. And I don't get into this whole 40 is a new 30, 50 is a new 40 and all that delusional talk. No, 40 is 40, 50 is 50, 60 is 60. And I get it, ladies. You sisters are out there killing it in terms of the looks department. Externally, you've got it all going on. And we're at a point now, of course, we can we can do surgical, <laughs> the, the wizardry of surgery, you know, surgery where you can lift the breasts that are sagging, you can add on to the butt, you, you have Botox, these things that you can all do. But what I'm looking for on top of that is where you are, where you are internally, mentally, spiritually, where are you financially? It's great if you make six figures, but if you're in debt seven, well then, Maybe another person is not who you're looking for unless you're looking for him to get you out of that position. So you have to be real honest with yourself in terms of the type of man. And I'm going to keep repeating this. You have to use your gift of discernment to vet these gentlemen properly. Because if not, you'll find yourself sexually attracted to a man. And once again, when we talk about the power of sex and imprinting, and he's rocking your world. And what you thought was going to be a fun time ends up being something more from your space. Or if you're intentional and you're looking for someone to build something long term, he's covered that part. And there may be one or two other things that you like about him. But overall, his purpose is not to settle down with an older woman. And so now you're two, three, four years deep into it with nothing but just great memories of sex. And that's not what you're looking for. I know what you're looking for is something deeper than that. Now, mind you, sex is important and you want to make sure you enjoy it as long as you can. But you want that. And when I talk about exceptional sex, it's the sex on top of everything else along with that partner that takes it to new heights. Because happening in the orgasm really isn't that. I mean, hell, you can do that by yourself too. 
or you can uh, go out there and find the men based on how you look. There's tons of men, I'm sure, in your inbox and DMs, and emails, or whatever. They're chasing you by the boatloads. But we all know that we're talking about quality here and not quantity. And far too many women are caught up in the quantity. So you think, okay, if this one doesn't work out, I'll get the next one. I'll get the next one. And, and the, again, here you are, 12 months, four different relationships later. And yes, that does happen. So again, be real clear on who you are, but also make sure that you are looking for the right man for the position, which is different. Stop trying to do it like men do it because not every man does it correctly. But for those men who are intentional, they're looking for a woman. It could be again, to continue on with their lineage, makes them feel young, someone who is more compliant to his journey. I mean, there's a, see, cause see, this is something that I talk about having the price of admission in dating. So if this is what your standards are, that man has to pay the price of admission to have your time, to have your body, to have your mind. Because you, you still want to be free. You still want to have fun. And you still want to have great sex. But don't far too many go for the one, the physical and sexual attraction, and then everything else falls to the wayside. And then you wake up three years later in a situation that you know you didn't want to be in. On top of which, this is when he's given you the Dear John letter, or he's giving you some example while he's going back to his ex-girlfriend, and then you're hung out to dry. Hell, there are comedy specials, there are TV movies, there are movies in the silver screen that talks about this as well. So as fun as many people like to make it, again, you have to be on now. If you're just out for the fun, okay, no judgment here. Do you as long as you can accept the consequences of those actions and be honest that that is really what you're looking for. And you'll find many women really aren't looking for just a fun time. They really are looking to sometimes change this young stud into a gentleman who's going to be with you for the rest of your life. And many of you have taken that bet and have lost. And that's not to say that men don't either. But again, the man is providing a space of security, the intentional man, whereas you may be, but you as a woman are looking for a man to provide you with this security and not the other way around. You don't want to end up being the one paying for trips, buying his Jordans, his Playstations, his clothing. And usually it has got nothing to do with clothing that's going to be able to take you out to a nice restaurant, a Broadway show, ballet, opera, whatever it may be. Or he doesn't have a passport and you had one for many years. So dating younger has its benefits and it has its consequences if you're not careful and honest about who you are. Because of course we know sometimes with age comes he or she likes a different type of music than he does. There are places that as a man, he may have already gone, but he's willing to go with her because he wants to create a new experience with her. So they're looking for a woman who's more cooperative to who he is. And that doesn't make him a predator or, you know, some, I mean, the, the, the levels of which women really try to berate men who are looking for younger, but yet for them, it's empowering. It's that part of the sexual liberation and all of that. And again, using the double standards that benefits them. But when it comes to anything that benefits a man, they have an issue with because they feel that those men should be dating women like, you know, more their contemporary age. And I, and I would agree. They're those men who really don't need to be dealing with anything younger. Because I do know there are a lot of incredible, you know, 45 and older year women. However, again, you listen to enough men. It's like, Ron, sometimes dealing with these 45 and older women they, they carry on if they're still in their 30s. It's like they're constantly trying to compete 
when they'd like those women to me be more secure in who they are as a woman, as a more mature and older woman. But we all know that sometimes age doesn't necessarily mean wisdom is right behind them. And so everyone's trying to relive their youth because maybe the time that they wanted to, they were raising children, they were married, they were in long-term relationships. And so this is their time to be free again. And so if you're in your 45 and older, you're meeting a man who's intentional, chances are there's going to be some disconnect unless, hell, even then if he's of the older man who's trying to live life as if he's in his 30s, then you both, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get along as well because you're both fighting for the same spotlight. Instead of respecting each other's journey in that space at that given time. So to the gentleman, again, be careful as well. Use your prop discernment. If what your motivation, if your motivation is to continue on with your lineage, because again, we could be talking about a woman who wants to have a child and then she's not looking for a lifelong commitment, although that's what she said, but what she wants is child support and nothing from you but a child support check or those women that will marry you just long enough so they can stay in there and have a child and then they're looking for alimony now many older men they're aware that it does take money to do that and there are those older women who say all oh, these young women they really don't want these older guys they just want them for the money and some of those men, most men would say they already know that too. So they ended to get something out of it as well. They're these quote unquote sugar babies who, who's trying to tell you how to get this from a man without giving up any sugar. And I'm telling you, most of them are lying. The price of admission to be in such an arrangement, these women are giving up the sugar. And you know what I mean when I say sugar. So don't let them tell you that, ladies. Don't let them tell you that. Now, if you're so lucky to have been in that position, if you were listening in and you were able to get away with that, kudos to you. But again, I'm talking about intentional men, intentional women. So brothers, as you're out there, use your gift of discernment to go out there and meet a woman who is cooperative in what you're looking for in a woman. And she just may be that old soul who likes what you like, has no problem with maintaining a household, allows you to be who you are as long as you're allowing her to be who she is, and you go on and create a happily ever after. But ladies, let me repeat, it's not the same for older women. He's going to be doing the proposing. Chances are you aren't. So you have to be honest about that. So if you're intentional in that space, make sure that the man you're looking for, if he's younger, based on how younger he is, much younger he is, is 5, 10, 15 years, that that is always one. And, and that's a challenge because a lot of men who know their worth at that age, they're still out there. Oh boy, they're out there. They have really, they're in these groups talking about these older women and how desperate they feel that they are. And so all they really want is a good time. So you tell them what they want to hear because they want to be validated and feel as though they still got it. You get what you can from them and then they dash. It's all about the sex and the money, either or. Sometimes it's not even about the sex, it's just about the money. So we talk to these men on a regular basis and we see the texts we see the profiles. So in their position, like, well, why should I listen to you when I'm up here, you know, doing what I want with all of these older women? She's got a good 15 years on me and I'm giving it to her, unlike her husband, Eric's husband did, you know, when he was alive or when she was married to him or the last relationship. Because we all like to sit here and come up with these differences of what all most men are. And they, they deal with ED and they deal with when we know that men in their 30s and 40s deal with the same thing. 
They want to make fun of the receding hairlines. They have worms. You hear the stories. Anything to degrade a man when we know that their brother's out there holding it down physically, mentally, and financially. And so instead of being mad at these men, respect their decisions. Maybe they're, they're just not the men for you. Just like you want them to respect your decision to date younger. Now, I guess in a perfect world, a 40-year-old will date a 40-year-old. A 50-year-old will date a 50-year-old. A 60, you, you get the point. But, again, with many intentional men, they're meeting a lot of women in their 40s and 50s still trying to party and travel as if they were in their 30s. And for them, it's a waste of their time and resources. So why bother when I can just find a younger woman that if we're going to do that, at least, hell, let her be younger. And there are some mindsets that older women have that are just... <laughs> no compromise they want to run that they want to run the man and they're not going for that the mindset of older women can be a beautiful thing but can be just as insufferable and many of these men run into the insufferable women for whatever the reason whatever their story is and they feel that they don't have the passion to want to work through this knock down all these building blocks that a lot of these women have put up when they can go find someone sometimes in this country and sometimes abroad for someone who's more an alliance with this plan and it, it could be and it's a great thing if you know again as an intentional man he's he's got his act together and he knows his purpose and worth he'll get it not just because there are more women than men. So just be honest, again, ladies, gentlemen, about why you want to date someone younger. And again, 10, 15 years younger. Be honest about that. Because some of you, you know, have met. And here's the thing. You speak to enough men, they have met women about their age wonderful women was going along with everything but for them and their ego they ended up still going younger but if you're intentional and you're fortunate you will meet a woman a woman that is around your age and very you know younger to a to, to a smaller degree maybe two three years she still has everything in order stamina finances emotional stability and she can add a value to her life that some younger women can't but some of you have let that woman go because of that again men it's your right and don't women don't let women shame or guilt you into having those decisions but respect her choices as well and let the cards fall where they may so I could go on, but I just, you get the point of what I'm trying to make. I don't need to go on two, three hours to talk about something that I think probably within the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you receive what I'm talking about. Date who you want to date, date how you want to date, as long as you're willing and honest enough to accept the, the consequences of how you move because sometimes it's to your advantage. In other cases, it's not. Men, I ask the same of you. If you're intentional, then you know you're not gonna come into a woman's life and cause chaos. So if you just happen to find the younger woman, make sure that you're on point with that. And ladies, if that is the journey that you wish to go down, I wish you well. But again, it's different for a younger man than it is for a younger woman. Because uh, they probably, even if they want the same thing, the way they go about it is different. And this is where the chaos happens. So take the time to know yourself. And I assure you that will help you along your journey. But if in some way you are not 
sure and you're having some challenges, well, then again, this is when you reach out to me. Or you can reach out also as well to my partner, Yashika Foster, if you're a woman, if you want to speak to a woman in that space. But to the gentleman, if you have some challenges with that, in terms of your dating, you reach out to me at resultswithronnie.com. That's resultswithronnie.com. Or you can go to the dating discussions website or the results with Ronnie website, send me an email and let's book a consultation and let's get you back on track for that woman that you want in your life. So again, I hope I gave you food for thought or something to think about, you know, so that as you make this decision to go younger, based on how young, much younger she is, you really keep some things in mind because many of you sometimes do know this. But you want to try to beat the odds. You want to be the exception to the rule. And when you're in your 40s and older, I mean, how many more chances do you really want to take in that space of using your money, your time, your body in that space? Be honest with yourself. And I can assure you, it's not going to be as challenging as many people do make dating. So you know what? I think I've said enough. My name is Ronnie Walker, Master Coach of Exceptional Dating Relationships and Sex. Reach out, share this broadcast if you feel that it can add some value to someone. You can go to relationships. I'm sorry, you can go to datingdiscussionslive.com. Subscribe. We have a lot of great content there. You can also go to mrrelationshipman.com another channel on YouTube and both these on YouTube with great content. You can find Ronnie and Yashika on Instagram or Fisher Ronnie walk on Instagram. I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, even your criticisms. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you could, um, share Um, So that when I do go live again, you'll be hit first and you'll be aware of that. You can tune in. If you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay and um, go from there. So again, Ronnie Walker here, MrRelationshipMan.com. Tune in, like, share, subscribe, reach out at resultswithronnie.com. I'd love to hear from you and I wish you well, the absolute best for your intentional men and women on your dating journey. Take care of yourself. Until again, have a wonderful, wonderful dating experience. Take care now. Bye-bye.